when people don't do something, when you've asked them to do something and they haven't completed that task or they haven't, you know, done what what you're expecting of them, there's usually two reasons for that. One is maybe you didn't set those expectations, potentially their parameters or whatever. But two is that a lot of the time people don't do something because they don't fully understand what it is you're asking of them or they don't actually have those skills. And if you tend to run more towards a micromanagement, they're less likely to come to you to ask for help, right? Because potentially the response is going to be, well, how do you not know this? How have you been here this long and you don't understand how to get this done? Or how, you know, why why would you ask, be asking me this? This is a really fundamental thing about blank. And of course, that doesn't really lead to people then wanting to talk to you about anything. And so sometimes you can end up missing things or having people hide mistakes from you that you that you want to know about, but that are getting hidden because there's not a good feedback loop, which, you know, happens in every company. I mean, talking about sort of the dynamics of personalities, I um I also tend to run a little micromanagement, I will say. I I like, I thrive in that sort of rules and regulations. If you talk to my husband, they're like, he's terrified of touching anything in the house because everything has a place. So if I'm gone or traveling, he, you know, we'll talk, it'll be like, okay, um, I moved something in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh gosh, I'm such a butthead. Like my poor husband is terrified to move anything in the house. So I'm working on that personally. But in the company, when something goes sideways or we have a, a question, because of the personalities we have in or the, the dynamic that we've created at Square Coil, there's an openness that um, that I clearly need to work on with my my own husband. 